This video presentation is brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. In this series. So, we want to look at the quadratic formula. And we are aware that the quadratic formula is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And it's okay if, you've, if you're seeing this formula for the first time, all divided by 2a, right? Now, this formula can be used to solve any quadratic equation, all right? Can be used to find the roots of the quadratic equation as well. Now, we're not going to solve quadratic equations in this series, but we're going to be looking at where did this formula come from and how it's related to the completed square form. So let's jump right in. So given, given ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, if we convert ax squared plus bx plus c to a times x minus h all squared plus k then this means if we if we look back at our working out we should see that h is equal to minus b divided by 2a and k is equal to a h squared minus and k is equal to c minus a h squared now if we make the substitution then this means a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to a times x minus b divided by 2 a well that's plus squared plus c minus a h squared but what is h? We still have to substitute h into this expression. We still have to substitute h into that expression right there. So this means that we actually have a times x minus, well, plus b divided by 2a, all squared, plus c minus a times b over 2a squared. Simplifying this gives us a times x plus b divided by 2a all squared plus c minus b squared over 4a. So that's what it simplifies out to. And now we go back to the equation to say if ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, this means that a times x plus b over 2a all squared plus c minus b squared over 4a is equal to zero because what I did there, I replaced the standard form for the quadratic in the first line with the completed square form in the second line. Now I am able to transpose this equation for x, okay? So let's look at the steps. So this means our first step is to bring these terms to the right-hand side. Okay, so we end up with a times x plus b divided by 2a all squared is equal to b squared divided by 4a minus c, right? So because on the left-hand side, c was being added, when we bring it to our right-hand side, it is now being subtracted and likewise for our b squared over 4a. Our next step is to simplify our right hand side a little bit to give us a times x plus b over 2a not changing the left hand side gives us b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a okay so there i brought everything to a common denominator and then i can take this and i can say x plus b over 2a all squared is equal to b squared minus 4ac divided by 
for a squared. Now I need to remove the squared on my left hand side. So this then gives me x plus b divided by 2a is equal to plus or minus, right, the square root of, that is plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. And this is almost looking like our quadratic formula. We just have to make two more steps. So let's get rid of our b divided by 2a from our left hand side. This can gives us x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. So now we need to recall that whenever we are taking the square root of a quotient, right? If we're taking the square root of a quotient a divided by b, then this is the same as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So now this implies that x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by the square root of 4a squared. And when I take the square root of 4a squared, because square, because 4 is a squared number and a squared is also squared, when I take the square root of a product, right, then this is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of a squared, which is equal to 2 times a. So the square root of 4 is equal to 2 and the square root of a squared is equal to a. So this then gives us minus b divided by 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And since both denominators are the same, we can then take this expression and combine the two fractions as minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And now this is the final expression that we call the quadratic formula. So in essence, we might not need to remember this process, but we need to remember this formula by all means, right? So whenever a teacher asks you, what is the formula for the quadratic expression? You should be able to see. Whenever a teacher asks you, what is the formula for the quadratic equation? You should be able to say minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a without stuttering, of course. And that would mean you are ready and rearing to go in terms of solving your quadratic expressions and equations, right? So I'll see you guys over on. So now that we've derived this formula, we'll be using this formula in some of our other videos on solving quadratic equations. That is it for this video. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe for future post notification.